Good morning. Uh, here we are at the start of uh, the next section, which is Paul's prayer, and in which he prays for us. Um, there are two prayers in this letter that he makes for us, and one at the end in which uh, he asks for prayer for himself. And of course, the way he prays is instructive. It tells us the sort of things we should be praying for when it comes to praying for ourselves or uh, for other people. And uh, once again, as with the blessings that are outlined in the earlier section, which were not dependent upon our circumstances, here it doesn't mention our particular situation uh, in any, any, any detail at all. It doesn't say anything about that. It's uh, all about uh, revolving around God. So the first one is that God may give you a spirit of wisdom and revelation in your knowledge of him. And I think there are several things to consider out of that. One is to think, well, a spirit of wisdom. Uh, wisdom is, uh, you see it in action in the Old Testament, a great uh, goal of life to understand how life holds together, how to act uh, carefully and thoughtfully in uh, differing uh, circumstances. Um, it, what Paul is doing is applying that sort of knowledge to our knowledge of God and saying that actually it's important that we receive wisdom to understand how he works, what he's like, uh, what he wants. So he prays for wisdom. Um, and the other thing is the spirit of revelation, that the spirit himself would re reveal or illumine um, his way to us so that we have a, a clear understanding. Um, our minds are opened to what God wants for us. And all of that is to lead us in our knowledge of him. Uh, translators of the New International Version have added, so that you may know him better. I don't think that's wrong. That's probably what this is about. It's about growing in our knowledge and understanding of what God is like and uh, deepening and stretching and going further in that knowledge. And uh, that's what we need. He prays this because this is what we need. Uh, we need a deeper understanding of what God is like in order to face the difficult questions that come our way. We don't necessarily need um, the direct answer written in the sky for us. We need to understand what God is like and how we should act in the light of that, because it's that knowledge that will secure us and hold us and give us peace. Well, here's a slightly crazy example of the way that works. Uh, years ago, uh, we used to take our children down to a working dairy farm outside Exeter that was called Creeley Country. It had the farm plus lots of rides and slides and things to do, so it was a great place. One of the things you could do was walk uh, at the top of the cow shed and see the cows being milked or being fed. Now the system was modern for its day. This is the 90s we're talking about. It was computerized. So when feeding time came along, there was a big hopper in the middle of the shed and the cow would stick its head into the hopper and the hopper would read the computer chip. I see that was revolutionary in those days. And the computer chip would say, oh, hello, hello, I'm intrude. Here's your lunch. And it would deposit the lunch and the cow would eat. Then the hopper was empty, so the cow back away and the next will come along, call her Petal. Petal comes in, it reads the chip and pet, it says, hello Petal, here's your lunch, deposits the food. When Petal's finished, Ermintrude then can't go back because that's what cows would do. They would muscle their way back in, stick their heads in and hoping for a second portion. But the computer would read the chip and say, well, no, the computer says no. And what that did is it calmed all the cows down apparently. There was no pushing and shoving and fighting because they knew the system. The system was they're going to get their food. Actually, it's a bit like that outside Sainsbury's at the moment. After all the pushing and shoving of two months ago, now there's a lot of calm because people know there's a system. Well, this is how it affects us. Um, Paul is praying that we may know God more deeply in the difficulties of life and be wiser in our understanding of his ways and see him more clearly in every situation because that means we can be, for instance, patient because, you know, he is Lord. We can trust him uh, because he says he will provide. We can put him first because he says he will give us everything we need. We can be filled with hope in difficult situations because we know he is working for our good. Those are just a few examples. But the key is growing in our knowledge of the Lord in these situations so that we can face them with hope and uh, in peace. So, your task for today, to pray that God will help you to grow more deeply in your knowledge of him. 
and that that will then enable you to face the questions that you have. So pray today and we'll do part two of the prayer tomorrow.